What up everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're out here in the shop, messing around with the G-Body. Um, been working on it. As you can tell, I got a lot of the turbo kit apart and off. Um, we changed a couple things. We went to a, a different throttle body on it. He didn't like the other one and uh, he opted for a Phytec throttle body. I do kind of like these. I like the way they look. They're a little bit different style than like the old normal China ones, but they don't have a lot of spring pressure on the the linkage here. So like, I don't know. They, they do feel a little chintzy. It kind of sounds like the throttle blade rubs inside. Like you, I feel like you can hear it hitting the housing. Um, not sure how I feel about that, but it's not mine. He bought it. He wants to use it, so we're going to send it. But yeah, so changed the exhaust gaskets on it. Um, waiting on the uh, four bolt gasket for the T6 flange. That way we can bolt the turbo back on finally. I had to put my O-rings and stuff in the uh, Maven mount to hang the turbo, make sure that's all sealed up. That way we can finalize all this stuff. Um, you know, cause as I'm fabbing it up, I don't just bolt it in and finalize it. I wait until everything starts to get fabbed up and then I'll start to finalize it piece by piece. Um, but yeah, so we got that going. The turbo's on the bench, scattered in pieces. Um, I did do some work in the trunk the other day. We dropped the uh, factory fuel tank and he bought like an Amazon fuel cell. Need some of this piping. And uh, he bought this Amazon fuel cell and I made some brackets for it, some little standoffs, put some rivnuts nuts in the floor, got it all mounted. Everything's nice and sturdy. Um, tank's nice and level and it does have a little bit of a rake backwards. The standoffs are like a half an inch taller in the rear just to kind of help add some force on the fuel, you know, towards the sump. I do have to pull this back out though because we got to modify this. This this tank has two dash eights on it and we're going to a single dash 12. So I got to pull it off like I did on my brother's tank and uh, cut that off and then add a single dash 12 on it. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna get this popped out. We'll get it up on the bench and then uh, make a little template for that piece that I cut out and then we'll get this welded in. Little mark marked out. I'm gonna cut this out, and then we'll weld it on here. Cover up this hole, then we'll drill it and uh, put a dash 12 in it. I got Brent, Brent up here getting me hyped. <laughs> Get me hyped, but uh, I'll get this cut out, and then uh, we'll weld the uh, dash 12 right in the middle of that. And we'll keep moving on. All right, so I got my little piece cut out here. Got it all deburred. We're gonna drop it inside the tank is what we're gonna do. Um, dang it, now I'm gonna get my hand stuck. Come on. I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm new at this. I don't know how to uh, do YouTube yet. Um, <laughs> Jeez. Um, 
yeah got, got it all cut out now we'll get it laid out on here tack it all in place and then we'll drill a hole right in the center of it put our dash 12 in it and then that'll be good to go but battery's dying so i'm gonna go charge it real quick come back show you some of me and show me show you some of me welding this up so stand by all right so we got that all welded up this is actually a couple couple days later um i got the valve or the valve cover good golly i got this all welded up you can see my lighting sucks but yeah we got that all modified got the dash 12 and stuff on it we're gonna have to um do some little massage in there on the bottom of the floor pan or the trunk pan to be able to fit a fitting on there i did get the uh fuel pump mounted sorry my lighting's terrible um got the fuel pump mounted and stuff underneath there so now we got to sort out um you know all of our lines and fittings Ugh. and we got a few other things done i started getting the uh turbo and stuff mounted back on got the uh, bung welded in the front cover balancers on it so we're slowly just kind of chipping away at this um, getting pieces and stuff put back on um yeah i don't really know what else to say i felt like that was going to take a lot longer to explain and show you yeah so the build's coming together pretty good on the uh, malibu hopefully we'll be firing this thing up um, pretty soon Right now, all we've got left to do is, you know, finish building some exhaust, which we don't necessarily need all the exhaust done to be able to get it fired up and running. Um, we got a mount a trans cooler underneath the trunk floor, make all the uh, trans cooler lines, wire up the uh, trans cooler fan. We're gonna do a booster delete, ditch all this nastiness right here. Um, Figure out the cooling system, get the radiator mounted. Um, we're probably gonna do some AN lines, which kind of stinks, cause I'm gonna have to pull this back off and pull this out and decide where I'm gonna put the uh, uh, AN fitting on the top side. And then the bottom side, we'll have to get a, a thermostat housing for that. And then weld the fitting on it, make some cooling lines, figure out all the accessory drive stuff, and then plumb fuel system since we've got the tank done the pumps mounted we just got to get fittings and stuff for all that and then start making lines which we don't have all the line for it either but we're going to slowly start chipping away at that hopefully in the next week or so or it'll probably be more like a couple weeks um, we'll get this thing fired up hopefully by uh halloween time that's actually his birthday and the goal was to have it running by his birthday so we're going to hopefully <clears throat> chip away at all this stuff and get that done and then i have uh, a new diff coming for the Civic so got some stuff in the works with that um, diff should be here this week if that shows up this week I can get that put back together um, the weather is slowly starting to deteriorate here in the Midwest so we're running out of time to do any type of testing um, and I want to test the boost knuckle again here before too long too because there's some stuff in the works with that as well um, but yeah I'd like to get this back together and hopefully do some eighth mile testing and then uh you know put it up for the winter and do some winter upgrades and uh whatnot there but yeah kind of a short video um when i was in the midst of doing some welding on that uh gas tank my battery died i stepped away from it it was like a mile away in my truck so I didn't film any of that and I didn't film me doing the front cover, which the front cover was not very nice to me, but yeah, I don't know. I guess that's all I got. Um, we're almost to that thousand sub mark too. I'm super pumped about that. I honestly, I wasn't sure we'd ever make it there. Um, you know, but you, you guys have kind of stuck it out with me and I've been really surprised of how many people have started to join the channel and follow along. We're getting there slowly but surely, but go check out the merch store. 
Uh, we got quite a few things on there. I'm gonna try and get some more stuff added here before too long. Um, I've actually got um, some more samples coming for myself. I try whenever I make a new, uh, when I make a new product or make a new piece of merch, I try and order one for myself so I can see what it turns out like, see what it feels like, see how it wears, see how it washes and all that stuff before you guys get it. But yeah, go over, check out the merch store, mremotorsports.com. We got stickers and, you know, stickers. I got stickers of the Civic. I don't have any of the stickers of like the Boost Knuckle, like the cartoon stickers or anything yet. Um, but I'm going to try and get some of those. And then I do want to get a shirt made with a picture of the Boost Knuckle on it. And then maybe we'll get some stuff done of the Ranger. I know the Ranger stuff's pretty popular right now. <coughs> you know, since we weren't invited to the Danger Ranger 9000. You know, because, I mean, my truck is stock-ish. It looks stock. But they didn't want no part of that thing. But, anyways, like I said, short video. Uh, just a little something on this. Kind of a recap of what's going on with it. And we're getting really close to it, so keep following along. Maybe uh, you'll catch us doing some burnouts in the street in this thing here soon. See you all on the next one.